somebody's at the door. Hello. Uh, actually, can you come back in about 30 minutes? Come back? Oh, yes. What time is uh, 30 minutes. Come back in 30 minutes. And you mean? Uh, Bami Fu. Ah. Okay, come back. Bami Fu. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, I'm at the uh, presidential suite here. Uh, let me just show you that it's in fact the presidential suite. Set so right here. Okay. So, uh, let me explain why I'm here. Let's get to it. You know, if you're in Vietnam and want to know about business, actually, if you're anywhere and want to know about business, you might want to check out Tom Peng. He, uh, he doesn't fuck around. Yeah, Tom Peng. He's A-OK. -okay. Peace. Uh, today is Friday, September 8th, and I'm in Hanoi. And the reason why I'm in Hanoi is because there's a lot of business activities happening here. My company is expanding in Hanoi. I want to put a hundred people in sales and service and uh, human resources into the Hanoi office. This is what I want to do. So I'm spending more and more time here in Hanoi. And every time I come to Hanoi, I want to stay in a nice hotel room because, you know, I live in a nice villa in Ho Chi Minh City. I don't want to you know, live substandard just because I am spending a few days here in Hanoi. And as usual, I book at the JW Marriott in Hanoi. That's like the best hotel. That's where the presidents, the prime ministers stay at uh, in the recent years. That's where they stay at. And I was gonna book the presidential suite at the JW Marriott uh, around this time. But you know what is happening recently, right? You know that uh, President Biden, the President of the United States, is coming to Hanoi and they are booking at the JW Marriott in Hanoi and of course because he's booking there and I can't get my room. So actually my staff called JW Marriott and said, hey, you know what? We really need to book the room. But uh, they had big meetings, apparently, I don't know, I don't know what happened. But, uh, but apparently the hotel management, they had a meeting and decided that, no, sorry, Tom, you cannot book at JW Marriott. We have to like block the, the hotel because the President Biden is coming to, the, to Vietnam, to Hanoi. And so, the, so we have to block from the 6th to the 12th. Nobody can book at the, the, the Marriott uh, in Hanoi. So, so I have no choice. President Biden kicked me out of my room and now I have to book at another presidential suite here in Hanoi. Now I'm at the Sheraton, all right? I'm at the Sheraton, all right? And Sheraton is actually part of the Marriott chain. So it's really the same hotel chain, but, uh, but uh, it's obviously an older hotel. This is the Sheraton Hanoi. It's an older hotel. It's not as fancy and advanced as JW Marriott, but let me just show you around this presidential suite, all right? So as you walk into the nice door here, you get to see this nice painting of a Vietnamese girl, and uh, there is the guest uh, washroom, right? And you probably noticed that I have a whole bunch of phones here. The reason I have so many phones, the truth is I'm an idiot. Okay? Because every time, every time I upgrade my phone or for whatever reason I get another phone, I keep my old phone because it takes too much effort to move all the information from my old phone to my new phone. So for example, right, uh, maybe, maybe this phone has my, all my Vietcom bank you know, access, this phone has all my MSB bank access, this phone has, you know, so I have all these phones so that I can access all the things I need and I'm just too lazy or too dumb to transfer you know, all the accounts to one phone. So that's why you know, everywhere I go, you see me carry like four or five phones. That's the, that's the real reason, okay? It's not because I'm trying to show off with like number of phones. It's because I'm too stupid to move the, the accounts from all the phones to one phone. 
all right? And of course, as you know, uh, Apple's releasing a iPhone 15 uh, Ultra very soon. I'm really, really wanting to get that phone and probably it's time for me to like migrate everything to one phone. I don't know. Let's continue with the hotel room tour, all right? So this is the entrance area. And then of course you get in here, that's the living room. It looks very, very comfy. And of course the, the, uh, the staff let me uh, a nice fruit plate there. There's a nice big TV on the wall. And one nice thing about this is that it's got a balcony. Look at that, I can get back into the balcony. Okay, this way. So this is the balcony. And from the balcony, you can see a beautiful view of the Hanoi West Lake. Not to be confused with the West Lake in Hangzhou, all right? This is the Hanoi West Lake. And uh, over there is probably the downtown Hanoi area. And I have to say, this is actually really nice view. Really nice view. I could spend the whole afternoon here probably working on my laptop. All right, let's get back into the living room here. And there's another nice painting over there. Another one over there. And uh, now we walk into the dining area. Okay, this is where you can have a nice meal. And here's another window with a great view of the West Lake. And now, let's get into the uh, sleeping area, okay? The bedroom. Let's go. All right, let's go. This is the bedroom. That's where all the uh, sleeping occurs, I guess, right? So, that's the bed. It's quite a mess right now. I don't know. There must be some kind of vigorous activity that happened here last night because look at this. The, 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 the blanket cover actually separated from the blanket. I don't know what happened here last night. I don't know what I did here last night, but how did that get separated? I have no idea. Anyways, uh, I must be like, uh, like practicing Kung Fu in my dreams or something, right? <laughs> and uh, and there's a nice table there. That's where I do my work, right? And of course, from the bedroom, there's also a really nice view of the West Lake. Uh, now we're going to the, the bathing area or the toilet area. And of course, there is a walk-in closet right here. You can put stuff in here and there, right? And there's the toilet right there. It's got, um, of course, function to wash your asshole after you poop which is kind of important you know for me now I, I, I really enjoy that function in the toilet you know like I really enjoy having water shoot up into my asshole to clean it you know it feels really good and here is the bathtub all right bathtub and imagine yourself lying down there in a warm bath and looking out to the west lake I think that's pretty enjoyable, right? But if you need a quick shower, there it is. That's, there's the quick shower. And of course, that's all the, all the sink over there and stuff. So there you have it, the presidential suite at the Sheraton Hanoi Hotel. It's an older hotel. It, things are not that advanced. For example, the curtains, you actually have to pull it yourself. There's no button you can push to open or close. But uh, still, it's a nice hotel. I probably can look into history and find out which president, which prime minister stayed here. I believe there are some. Um, but uh, nowadays, everybody stay at the JW Marriott in Hanoi because that's the newest, most advanced hotel there is. So that's why President Biden is staying there for his visit to Vietnam on the 10th to the 12th, I believe. And uh, that's why I got kicked out there and I cannot book a room there, right? I was planning to book the presidential suite there, but uh, they won't let me. And uh, like my staff talked to their staff and they had a big management meeting. They decided, no, can't, cannot, cannot. Who's Tom Ping? We don't know Tom Ping, but we know President Biden. So fuck you, Tom Ping. We cannot, cannot, cannot stay there. 
But that's all right. That's all right. We we'll have lots of opportunities here to come to Hanoi in the coming uh, months because we're really trying to build a successful, strong team here in uh, Hanoi. And uh, I'll be staying in Hanoi a lot. And I will be staying at the presidential suite in JW Marriott, Hanoi. And when I do that, I really want to bring that video to you and show you the presidential suite at the JW Marriott in Hanoi. And uh, I want to show you the bed that uh, President Biden slept on when he visited Vietnam. All right, okay, so take some fucking actions. And when you travel, always stay in the best hotel because gotta use your money. Gotta use your money to improve the quality of life, right? I mean, what's the point of having money if you don't enjoy it? Don't be a fuck.